Chris here today from Huckabone's Equipment. We're gonna do a little video that was inspired by my sister, Erin Huckabone. Uh, it's how to start your GR. Um, so we're just gonna do a, an overview of how to start your GR so that you can uh, fire it up whenever you want and cut some grass or blow some snow. So we're just gonna dive right into it on how you, on how you start it. Um, so whenever you're dealing with the, the diesel GRs, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your uh, mower deck is in the off position. Uh, it, it's either on or off, so you want to make sure it's in up or off position. Um, so with every uh, diesel Kubota engine, uh, there's going to be a, a glow plug indicator that's on your ignition switch. Uh, it looks like a squiggly line inside of a circle. Uh, so you kind of move your key over one click uh, and then it'll. Uh, there's an indicator light on your dash as well to, to, to let you know that it's it's working. In the summer, you're going to only hold it there for a few seconds, maybe five to 10. Uh, in the winter, depending if it's inside the garage or outside, uh, you could be 10 or 20 seconds, possibly up to 30. So then after that, you're going to compress your brake and then continue uh, engaging your key uh, switch and, and starting your tractor. Um, so it's very simple, easy, uh, but there is a few steps to that. Uh, first one being that your uh, PTO is not engaged, uh, that you have glowing the the unit for a few seconds, up to 30 seconds if it is uh, sitting outside in the winter, um, and then uh, compressing your brake and starting it with the key switch. That should start your tractor. Um, we're gonna now just uh, move on to show you on the tractor how that is done. Um, so to start your GR Kubota diesel, uh, first thing you wanna check is to make sure that your uh, PTO is not engaged. So to have engaged, it is all the way down. You wanna make sure that's in the up position and that it's off. Um, if you have it in the on position, it will not start. You can, you can see, uh, no matter what I do, uh, it won't start. There is a safety switch in there um, that prevents it from doing so. So you make sure that's in the off position. Uh, and then on your ignition switch itself, make sure you go over a click and that, uh, that you're going to the preheat, uh, which again has an indicator on the dash as well as on the key switch itself. It looks like a circle with a squiggly line through it. On the key switch, you're gonna hold it there for five to 10 seconds uh, in the summer. And if it's in the winter, you're gonna probably be uh, 15 to 15 seconds up to 30 seconds, depending if it's outside or not. Um, so you hold it there for a few seconds, compress your brake, and then continue the motion of starting your engine on the key switch. And that fires it up for you. Um, again, now if you've started it and you want to start your mower deck or uh, a snowboard on the front, uh, make sure that after you fire it up, you rev it up a little bit. Again, you don't ever want to start it whenever it's uh, at full, uh, full throttle, try and make sure it's down around the turtle or up a little bit. Um, again, if you have it up at the rabbit, it's kind of like starting yourself at a full sprint. It is very hard on an engine over time if you continue to do that. Um, again, same idea whenever you're shutting it off, you want to make sure that you're down at about an idle. Uh, you do not want to have it at uh, full throttle. To engage your mower deck, there's a couple different steps to it uh, than just starting your tractor. So again, uh, you want to preheat a little bit, fire up, compress your brake and start the tractor. Then you want to rev it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be right to wide open. Um, so very simple, easy to use. Uh, they don't make it complicated, but uh, uh, if you've never ex been on it or experienced it, it is nice to have a little bit of background on, on what to do. So that brings us to, to the end of today's video. It was uh, how to start your Kubota diesel GR, uh, whether it was your first time or first time a long time. Hopefully you uh, learned a few things on how to get it fired up. Uh, and again, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below.